even Sojourn to an extent. What do you see about your team's positioning and your position that might theoretically be a problem here? Uh, well, the healers don't have a good line of sight yep. on me. Yep. Why don't um, they have? Who do they have a line of sight on? Where do they have a line of sight on? Uh, more so on yeah, just our closer to the point our yes, tank. Right? Yes. So it looks like Yarissa might be walking forward here, but I I hope she does because your flank is set up to go around this spot here, right? But I'm not yeah. sure if that's where your team is going to be setting up to fight. Like, if we even look at your symmetric t uh, turrets, she's playing more for here, and you're playing more ahead. That's what we have mm -hmm. to be really... Because I'm scared that you might try uh, and assassinate, okay. and then they're all there's going to be just basically you. And yeah, you might not die, but you'll get your Wraith Force, and you won't be able to get assassinations. So let's gotcha. see it. <laughs> yeah, I, right, you can see that. Back, see yeah. That. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so they scout you early. And I, I don't think this flank was great from you. But I think it would have been a lot better if your team had been set up like up on top here, ready to spam them. Oh, uh, okay. Right? Just, Just take more attention, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So that, that's exactly it. And now you see how like, okay, did you die? No, but look at your positioning right now. Is this where your hero wants to be at this point in time? Yeah. Right? No, this, definitely this, not. This could have been, you could have been hiding up here and then dropping behind. Or you could have been hiding up here and dropping here and shooting. And then you can, at least that, you see like how there would have been distractions for the enemy team now? <clears throat> that's that's the major concern, where you're setting up. This is cool, I like, I like this a lot. Yeah, get out the safety, get out the safety. Yeah, so obviously you need to yeah. make sure. It's like, it's, like it's, it's hard though, it's, it's not always as easy as it is with a hero like Genji because you can wall climb up and you're all set. But for you, mm -hmm. it's like you gotta immediately have like a plan of escape, a little bit like the old Doomfist. Like I'm in a minute, I'm in a minute, I'm in a minute, I'm in a minute. Because what you did here is you, you did a lot, right? You you, you almost got the kill. Um, you did a great job. You did a good job using cover. You chose the right targets. Perfect job. But if you die for it, it's not gonna be worth much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I I definitely uh, overestimated how uh, you know. The distance I was, I guess, away from the the healers. Right, but but even but but even if your team could heal you, you wouldn't want to be here, right? This is no mm -hmm. good, because no amount of healing will keep you alive in this position. Yeah. Okay. So it's about where would you go afterwards? I, I actually wonder if going up to here and then TPing out would have been safer, giving you more time. Uh, okay. Um, so that's kind of like what you want to be like when you go for this right here. Obviously, you, it's a little early. You don't quite have your wraith mm -hmm. yet, but then your mindset needs to be okay. I'm shooting. I'm shooting. I'm shooting. I'm shooting. I'm gonna wraith back this direction, okay? That doesn't happen. I keep going because he's one HP. I get whipped in here. Oh no, my wraith is forced. You, like right now, has to be like an immediate decision about where you're going. Yeah, um, and I, I definitely, I, I recall too, I was like panicking, oh crap, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard, it's hard because this is, you were gonna think about wraithing this way, but now that's no longer viable, so you have to make an adjustment. I don't think you do make an adjustment, right? But it's spooky. It's real spooky. A smart, a better team there will just walk on you. That John Cart will walk on top of you and be like, "Haha, what are you gonna do about it?" You know. All righty. You healed up. Getting set up. And and you tell me, where is your team set up to fight? Where is your team set up to fight? You're yeah, using draw a line. the where. Uh, in between the Arissa and the Zen, like yeah, that yeah. diagonal. Right here, right here, exactly, exactly. This yeah. is where you set up the fight. So then you need to make sure that when and where you go is keeping that in mind. So we, we need you to be molding to the flow of exactly what your team is doing. When they're up, you're up. When they're back, you're back. You're not necessarily on top of them, but you're setting up your flanks and your angles around where they want to fight and where they're setting up. You see oh, what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. Practice. And it's hard. It's really hard. That's where like you're gonna need to be bet before fight starts, before an engagement starts. Take a quick look behind you and be like, what the heck is going on with Farah's arms? First off, uh, but then also like where, yeah. where, 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 where is the team set up? And then making a decision around that. Because like right here, you could you had an opportunity right here. There's the kill on the Zen. You go for the TP. A dark step. At that point in time, your team has turned around. You need to know that. You need to kind of be aware gotcha. of that. Yeah. Now it's too late because you're in the middle of a firefight. You don't have time to turn around. You need to be shooting sh stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But now, before that happened, you had time. I guess mm -hmm. think before I... Yeah. 
And you gotta be careful here too, right? Because again, yeah. this is, I, I promise you this is where you're gonna get, I mean, assume you're gonna get punished for this. I hope you get punished for this. Because again, like look at where, this is the line. This is the line. And not only that, but your far is not quite back yet or your honest not quite back yet. So my um, back is to their roadhog and I mean, everything right, too. Right, right, you've crossed the line. Now, if your team was pushed up with you, this would be totally fine, but, the, but they're not. It's not just that your back was turned to the roadhog, it's also you were pushed beyond where your team was fighting. You need to set okay. up your flanks around your team. That's that's the thing is like, when, when we talk about team playing flanks and angles, I don't want you playing with your team, but I want you playing around where your team is set up, right? With the intention, gotcha, okay. if your team is playing to fight here, your flank should be around there and here or here or here or wherever, right? Tracer is really not having a good time. Now, oh, and I went too far. Yeah, that you can already I... see it. You broke the rule. Yeah. If, if your Orisa gets in there with you, bro, this works great. I this would be the correct play, but she's not. And she, not only she's not, but she doesn't even have the time to. She 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 can't fly. She could, she's trying. She's trying to push with you, but she but she can't. And yeah. that's the risk here is always is always that like this is how you get killed or this is how you get your rainforest. Like if that hog hooks you here, you're in trouble, right? Mm -hmm. And right I, now, I definitely don't think I intended to go that far with the tp to that edge i guess i got but it. yeah got it got it you just happened to fall off the, uh, the <laughs> oh whoops <laughs> oh, all right all right all right let's uh okay 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 now you can see through walls right onto your teammates mm -hmm. where where's the line where's the line for your team uh right underneath that right underpass right, yeah. right here so are you setting up for a good position for that location I would say yes. I would say yes too. Let's see how we do it. Let's see if we time it well. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Here's your wrist suspend. Now you can go really at any time now if you'd like. <coughs> like you see this wall here. Now, it's still very risky, mm -hmm. but it, at least there is a re potential reward for the play. Let's see what we got. I mean, wh why is nobody turning around? Ready? Uh, yeah. You see? Oh, uh, yeah, because they're focused on right. the... It's such yeah. a basic, silly, stupid thing, but it's so important. And to be honest with you, especially with a mechanically intensive hero like Reaper, uh, or really any DPS hero, when, when you go for these flings, it is hard always to get the timing right because sometimes you're so focused on the shot, which is why right now you have to be aware of these things because you're not doing any shooting right now. Now is your time to check. Okay, check, 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 check. Okay, we're good, go. Pull the trigger. Go, 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 right? Hey, look what happens. Perfectly timed, perfectly placed. That soldier has no chance. I don't care who that soldier is. No chance, impossible. Next. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I used that boss. Well, yeah, here's, the, here's like... the thing. They're in the middle of trance, so that's the first thing here. Do you have to bait hook before you death blossom? Do you have to wait for hook before you death blossom? By the way, yes. I'm asking this question. You probably know the answer. Okay. Yes. Well, maybe. <laughs> How are you going to be able to get value out of death blossom, even if he has hook? Uh, well, I guess drop on a squishy or sure. target. Let me give this. Uh, a look from his perspective so you can kind of see what I'm saying. Watch carefully. Do you see how easy that was for him to hook? Yeah. What if you had death blossomed? I mean, obviously trance, right? But right here. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. He would have to he be would forced have, to turn around. He would be forced to turn around. So there's a delay there and make a mechanically difficult play and try and react to it instead of, okay, there's the Reaper, there's the Reaper, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a window of time where not only may he, maybe he misses the hook, but he's actually slow to hook. And by the time he hooks, maybe the damage is already done. So you do not have to wait for hook to death blossom, but it, you cannot death blossom in front of a Roadhog. Yeah. You have to be sneaky about it. You have to be sneaky about it. Now, would this work if he didn't have hook? uh maybe but it still yeah, wouldn't maybe. be great it still wouldn't be great it, he could easily line up shots other people can line up their shots you got to be sneaky with this 
Yeah, I I guess I was trying to maybe get that cheeky kill with the death blossom. Yes. But, you know, yes. Worry. Yeah. Chat's right also saying the, you got to be yeah. worried about Lucio Boop as well, and that is very very uh, true. Oh yeah. Well. yeah and yeah, again, yeah. that's another thing. Okay, it, cooldowns become a lot more oppressive when you're not stinky. Mm -hmm. there's your little sound bite to remember when you're not positioning and setting up your plays well it's a lot easier for the enemy team to counter you same thing would apply like we're talking we want to talk about sojourn right if you want to go on a flank off angle uh surprise ult if you stand in front of the middle of the enemy team on the floor then you, they're going to be able to use cover they're going to be able to shield they're going to be able to suzu they're going to be able to avoid it entirely but if you're setting it up better it's harder for those cooldowns to counter that ultimate Mm -hmm. um, gotcha. So this was too easy, too easy. Yeah. Not particularly timed well, yeah. and certainly not placed well. Ah, this is this is by the way this is often what pro Overwatch ends up being, <laughs> where you have two players who know what they want, so they both go for the same thing because it's really important. Whatever Reaper. This Reaper wants to drop in your backline, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to drop on his backline. So then you both end up smashing into each other and like, well, crap. Now, here's the question. If this ends up happening, what should you do? Uh, I try to force out his Wraith faster. Sure. Just be better. <laughs> use, <laughs> use cover better, right? You have a little yeah. better mechanics, maybe a better crosshair placement. Maybe get a little bit, like you're getting a little bit of help from a Kiriko. So what does this mean? Where is he going to go? Uh, yeah, behind the wall towards closer yeah. to his right. team. And then he's going to have to, he might even have to Wraith all the way back to his team, in which case, guess what? You won the flank. You see? Mm -hmm. So I think don't don't look at situations like these where you're like oh I'm going for the flank that somebody's marking me maybe there's like a tracer right this is this is good this is good even if you, you, you like you're preventing him from getting onto your backline right this is good and and what ah yeah I you won yeah. it you did it you, you won this not just with the heals you also were hitting more shots than he was you earned this don't don't give up. Like, like, look, this is, this is actually really, really, really funny. I'm sorry. We just have to enjoy this. Reapers dueling for the space. Da -na -na, da -na -na -na. Oh, it's da -na -na. amazing. And then they just both, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even get his Wraith Force. They just like, okay, well, that was fun. That's both game up. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, if you are losing an angle or a flank like that, that's when you would have to kind of change your game plan, right? Maybe that's where you're going to do what you're going to do now and set up for here. Maybe you go, okay, well, I'm going to flank around this way. It's not as good, maybe. I mean, actually, this looks pretty good to me. Let's just pretend this is not as good, but you have to find another path, right? Um, pretty decent, okay. pretty decent. Some, some, A lot of good things to say about Sharipa. I think your mechanics are good. I think you have, for lack of a better term, I'm very pleased by the way you're approaching the hero. You're playing the hero the way he's supposed to be played, but the way you're the way you're actually executing that playstyle is not always done well. Mm -hmm, it's okay. like a, 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 you're riding the you got your feet on the pedals of the bike, your hands are on the the, the, the handlebars, and you're trying to pedal, but you're doing it with your eyes closed, which is kind of what's, what's happening right now, right? At least you don't, you don't you're not doing it backwards or goofy or anything like that. You are riding the bike, mm -hmm. but you're just doing it with your eyes closed. So we need mm -hmm. better timing from you by paying attention to where your team is set up. Um, what what well, you tell me? What do you see? Yeah, I definitely timing and just spatial awareness. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I also just not getting cocky or <laughs> yeah, just sure. just going for it, thinking I can win sure. the fight. <laughs> How can you improve your timing, by the way? So we talk about timing needs to be better. How do you improve that? Uh, yeah, taking that second before you know initiating the or, or yes. going with the, the backline kill or whatever yes. you know taking a look at yes. where my team is yeah. yes yes 100 100 and that goes with your blossoms that goes with just your normal flank plays i don't care if you're going for tank backline pressuring a dps 1v1ing the reaper on high ground um yeah that that's something that you would that you should be taking a look at